Hello guys, in this video I want to show you how to set up my Unity Low Poly Scene to produce good and appropriate graphics. I'm using Unity 2017 and this is a scene from my Low Poly Game Kit. The first thing that I do is to open the player settings and set the color space from Gamma to Linear, which has a huge impact on the coloring of the scene and the quality. I advise you to always use this setting if you don't create a game for hardware that requires a Gamma color space. Ok, here you can see the difference. After that I go to the quality settings and set the quality level to fantastic, which you can do if the hardware you develop for is supporting it. You can play around here with the shadow distance, for my project a value of 40 or 50 looks good. Now select the camera and for this I enable to allow HDR and I set the rendering path to use graphic settings but this option depends on your scene setup and required hardware. If you have many real time lights and the hardware will support it, you can use deferred shading which has the most lighting and shadow fidelity, if not you should use forward rendering. What I also added to my camera is a post-processing behavior for the post-processing stack. A tutorial that I created about this feature is linked to the description below. Now let's open the post-processing profile to see which features I used here. I enabled anti-aliasing and there are two options for this. The fast approximate, which is recommended for mobile platforms for example, and the temporal anti-aliasing, which comes at a higher cost but is better at smoothing edges. The result of the temporal anti-aliasing can be seen here when I start the game. Ok, but I will stick for now to the fast approximate, but I use the quality preset. The next thing that I enabled is ambient occlusion. You can play with the intensity and radius to check what looks best for your scene. I also activated the bloom effect, which is great for the low poly fire but be careful to not overuse it and keep the intensity at a lower value. The tone mapping are set to filmic, which looks really nice, but makes your scene a bit darker. Most of the time I increase the post exposure a bit when using this tone mapping, and for this scene I also increase the temperature slightly to give this nature scene a warm tone. The last option that I enabled is a vignette, and for this I use a black tone and an intensity of about 0.3. So that's it for the post processing and here you can see the scene before and after the changes I made so far. For the lighting I defined the directional light as the sun source, and for the environment lighting I use a gradient instead of one color. I didn't bake the light yet, I set up the scene with real time lights, perhaps I will bake some parts in a later step. The color of the directional light is set to a warm yellow tone that fits the scene quite nicely. If you want to change the mood of the scene, you can go ahead and rotate the directional light like this. Ok guys, these were my graphic settings for the low poly scene, I got quite a few requests from you to show it, so I hope you find it interesting and useful. If you do, don't forget to subscribe and think about supporting me on my Patreon, this would really help a lot. So thanks for watching guys, thanks for your support and see you on JNM.